Okay, today we're learning about Python 3 bytes and byte array built-in functions. So the two functions I want to look at are bytes and byte array. Um, first, I want to show you what type they are. And so let's see that bytes has its own class and byte array has its own class. Both bytes and byte arrays uh, take the same arguments. We can pass strings but we need to do it with an encoding for strings. So we need to pass UTF-8 or UTF-16 or UTF-32. And you'll see that it's actually looking quite differently depending on which one we choose. We can also pass integers. Um, so you'll notice that a byte of four is represented with four individual items. These are hexadecimal digits and each hexadecimal digit represents one byte. So if we wrote out 100, you're going to get 100 individual bytes. The third accepted argument for bytes is an iterable. So we can pass a list like this. And of course, this works as well for a byte array. Let's talk a bit about how bytes and byte arrays diverge. So I'm going to initiate a byte array here. We'll do a simple list of one, two, three. We can print out this, uh, this byte array. And what we can do is um, mutate this byte array by say appending one. We can print that out and you can see we have that extra one here. Um, we can do things like reverse it. And you'll see even though this wasn't the best example, instead of one, two, it's one, three, it has been reversed. This is not the case with the bytes function. So say we made that same list and we wanted to say append uh, four to that, you'll see that the bytes object has no attribute append. That's because the bytes function is immutable. It cannot be changed. Whereas if we did the same thing again with the byte array, boom, y dot append four, we appended that successfully. One last little trick when you're trying to uh, work with these byte arrays, um, I noticed that when I created these lists, right? and I would try to append things on the end uh, just like that, it, it wasn't really working. And I noticed that I, or even if I do it with, uh, I, I initiate a, a variable here, I'll do the same thing, take the same one, and we'll just create a variable here with it. Um, if you did it like this and try to run the append right on it, it's, it's like not really working. I don't know why it doesn't even print out. So what you need to do is just initiate your byte array, right? We have our byte array and then you can append things on the end. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.